Bob, it's no secret that many of our local businesses have been some of the hardest hit by this pandemic. And now that the season for shopping is really in full swing, they're having to make some adjustments. On what would typically be the busiest shopping day of the year. Broad Street downtown is quiet. I really think the movement for this year has been just this massive shift online. Paul Tribble, CEO and co-founder of Ledbury, says that shift holds true for them today. But 90% of our business is online. So really today is already setting trends to be what's maybe our most successful day online in history. Several miles away, Carytown also seeing its fair share of shoppers. These ones. Uh, the wife is doing a little shopping, so we standing outside uh, waiting on her. Taking to the streets. My wife's been doing this for years, so I've been doing this for years. Oh, it's slow. It's very slow uh, compared to previous years. While some wait, others shop. Everyone's been super friendly and cautious, and everyone's been wearing masks that I've seen. There's a lot of people coming in and out. Elizabeth Brannis, owner of For the Love of Chocolate, says all their business is done right here in the store. We don't do anything online. But this year requires some adjustments. Just a lot of cleaning and sanitizing and making sure everything's, you know, safe. Right up the street, a small line forms outside of Plan 9 Records. We've probably been waiting for about 10 minutes now. Since the pandemic, we've limited the number of people in the store. They, you know, we required sanitizing, masking. Everybody's been really good about also waiting in line and, you know, as we can let people in the store. Like most things in 2020, Black Friday looks a little different. Owner Jim Bland. All of us small stores, the bookstores and the toy stores and all, we're, we're local businesses. I think it's important that for this community to help us, you know, keep it. The same thing for the restaurants, you know, they, they really need us. Hopes you keep them in mind as you shop. And remember, when you shop small, you help these local businesses keep their doors open during this pandemic. Many are now offering services online.